Okay. Great. Right, so it's do also you speak a, cat, or do you interpret every meow as good? Listen. <laughs> I don't come over to your <laughs> house and tell you how to plan a revolution. <laughs> oh, oh, I, oh, I, hey, hey, I wish you would have. Hey, are we planning a revolution? Because I got some ideas. Uh, yeah, we are planning a revolution, and Sweet. I would totally take any suggestions you have. Okay, number one, you should commandeer a ship and form a small army. Done. Sweet. What, really? That <laughs> fast? Yeah, no, I, well, I mean... Oh, fuck! What the hell was that? What? The bound to the side erupts. The what? The mountain to the side erupts. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it a volcano? No. Fire spews forth from it. Sounds like a volcano. It's from the Cambridge Mountains. No! So don't you have... see glittering objects rise up out of it, start pouring down towards Pearl and Moore. Lava? No. Glittering? Metal. S a whole spew of metal of some kind is pouring out of the mountain. The f what do you guys do? Like an avalanche towards of metal? Towards Perlamore? Yeah, towards let's, Perlamore. Let's hightail it on the ship to get to Perlamore. Well, we don't need the ship can. to get to Perlamore, right? Can't we take it yeah, up the river? I thought or up we the just, bay or whatever? I you can. We just it's up the tricky inlet. navigating. I thought we just take land. It's, the reason they don't do that is because it, it has a lot of shallow areas, so they would normally put it on smaller boats to take it further in. Can we just? If we run the ship aground, that's okay. Here's the question. Bluto, do you know how to navigate? You have the four four cardinal hairs that de <laughs> designate you as a key navigator. So let's try it. Yeah, let's give it a shot. If we run the ship aground, we're down a ship. You know what? At the beginning of today, we did not have a ship. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I thought we could get there though without the ship, like on the land. The ship would be faster. It's a little faster. And it'll be less wear Is and it? tear on us. Okay. Yep. And we'll get there afresh. And they're not expecting us to come from the bay, right? No, yeah, that's true. There is, this is a slaver ship. More and, and no really longer. less wear and tear on us is better in the long run for our rebellion. Plus, I do know for a fact that the comp, the the write off for wear and tear from the tax man is not that good. What is happening? You're boring me right now. I'm boring myself. Okay, let's let's should let's I, attack some stuff. Should I tell the crew to get ready? I I go to Bluto and I yeah. say, Yeah, yes. Bluto? Get our family ready. Aye. aye. Starts wait, hollering off commands. Listen to him. Nope, it's it's fine. <laughs> Bluto runs off, and I'm like. This is what I expected. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell them what to do. I'm the captain and I do not have any power. <laughs> no, no, see, you don't need to say anything. Your second handles that. Yeah, you just stand there looking cool. Yeah, no, I, I'm fine. Listen, all I wanted was to be called the captain. <laughs> That's all I care. <laughs> so, they go to work immediately pulling rigs, uh, opening up the sails, <clears throat> and making their way directly for the docks. I walk around Whoa. inspecting. Looks I don't good. know what's happening. I've never been on a boat. Uh, what would... Uh, you're on uh, intelligence check, straight intelligence saving throw more or less, to see if they're doing what they should be doing. It's Ooh, that's pretty good. Terrible. Um, minus one, so 15. Yeah, you look around, you see some jibs and maybe titans, you pull them down, you look like you know what you're doing. Yeah. And I'm strong enough to, to pitch in, so I do exactly that and then no more. Good, good. I don't You've want to screw up. Smart. Stop, stop while you're ahead. Yeah. So you guys are sailing towards Pearl Morn. <laughs> the ship is weaving back and forth very slowly, but faster than you would have on horse or on foot. After about an hour or so, you see the city. You see the Cambridge Mountains to one side. You see the high walls of Pearl Moor over here. And you see the river coming between them. Bridges cross between so that people can get in and out of Pearl Moor if need be. The city itself is a metropolis, so it's pretty freaking big. Uh, and you see a combination of gnomes huh. and mm -hmm, warforges. Whoa! Oh, mm -hmm. warforges! Assaulting Perlamore. They haven't come over the gate yet. They're truly what they can to cross the river. Arrows are being flung over, catapults. People are doing what they can to keep the army at bay. Jeez, that was so fast. That all happened so fast. Yeah. When you say, when, okay, so you said Warforges. Mm -hmm. uh, Robotic machinations. Okay, so the Warforges, gotcha. Yeah, just making sure I understood. Of I varying see. sizes. You see larger ones hulking in the back, just hefting up rocks and hauling them into the city. What do you guys do? We've got to fight them. Well, Whoa. this is not two. Okay. But we are there's, severely there's only, outnumbered. Only four of us. Um, uh, we have enough, I'm here. We have, an, <laughs> we have enough people to, like, m mount, like, a guerrilla campaign, 55, even if these were all 55, you know, people who are in fighting shape, which probably some of them are, some of them aren't, um, even if they were all like trained soldiers, that wouldn't be enough to repel this attack, I assume. How many do you say there are? An entire army. 
thousands. Thousands. Yeah, so we definitely don't have... The walls are high. They haven't fallen before. Yeah. Uh, you do know that the city of Perlamore has three major rings. The outer ring, can the we middle get ring, in, and the inner can ring. Can we get in the city? How do we get in? That's the can question. We get, is there a way? Do we know? If only we had a rogue of some kind who may know ways in the I city. was just going to say, I had to escape once out of the city, and they had, like, they had... My oh, my God. Oh, my God. My friend that uh, we sent ahead. Maybe he's there. Oh, yeah. Also, um, only got a way to get in contact with him. Also, I am a, I am a street urchin from Perlamore, and I know the city secrets. So all of you have different ways of getting into the city, if need be. Uh, what are you guys going to do when you get into the city? What is your goal? What are you guys going to do? I, I, we gotta find, um, well, the bad guy. What's his name? Tlaseko. Fearvin Tlaseko. You know that he is deeply rooted in the city now. I feel like he's at the root of all of this. Here's the thing. I don't, I don't want this city to, to come under siege and be destroyed. Just as a but rough guide. Mm. Yeah, Sulf is this. But it's also good from that, the internet. It's not I mean, the final one. It, it's not, a, it's not <laughs> the Are worst thing in the world that Tlaseko no, no, is under not. siege. Oh. Um, it's just a rough guide for tonight. Yeah, I don't know exactly how to feel about that. As I'm look, gonna, if as we find, I think we should find we'll Yasuf. Fill in more of the map. Because look, and maybe he'll know in Cambridge, that's where we found Yasuf, and it was all of Fear of Seiko slaves doing some BS down there. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and and I feel like and Sudohas wanted to go there in the first place because apparently it opened to another plane. Which definitely would make sense that thousands of effing Warforge came out of so that. So one thing that you guys know, uh, no, don't show that to the crowd. That's just a guide just for you guys. Up. It's a mock up. Oh, it's a mock up. Well, it's not, not a final. Yeah. Um, well, then Warforges don't. <laughs> Perfect. Warforges don't good. exist in your world. Oh. They came from Elderon, right? Eberron. Well, Eberron. So really what close. Are <laughs> Warforges the are Eberron. essentially they're they're robotic. Uh, well, they're robots. Was magically animated robots. Yeah, yeah they're right they're constructs. <laughs> okay. I'm going to use different words to explain. So they're AIs. Yeah, kind they're, of, they're but not basically like a cross between a robot and a statue with like a soul. actual soul. Magical. Hmm. Let me pull up a picture of Warforge for you, just for schnitz and giggles. Yes. So what are you guys going to do? We'll um, say that. Uh, let's sneak in through a sewer. For, we definitely have to sneak in through the sewer. Or or. One of one of that's our. That's how Ant Man. Oh, yeah. That's check, how Ant Man did it. Can I check for like another another <laughs> through the water a secret main. entrance or anything like that? Is that something I can check for? Yeah, you guys can all make knowledge or history checks uh, to see if there's some secret way into the city. Um, like an Ant Man, he went through the water. Go ahead and uh, let's do that real no. quick. I actually had. I actually I'm can I make a persuasion check that. to uh, to help the the same family that. Uh, uh, that smuggled this is me roughly out. what they look like. Can I get them to smuggle me back uh -huh. in? If you had a way to signal them. Most certainly. Have you worked out a way to signal? Oh, didn't I tell, didn't tell I you? Tell you what, I forgot. Uh, everyone, one inspiration. Go ahead and just take that. Yay! It's Warforge. There it Who is. Who gave that to us? Me. Me. Oh, thanks. As the GM, I'm allowed to do that. Well, we, Whoa. Have, we, we actually, uh, we, we have, or hopefully still have, um, like, so I have, I, I speak Thieves Cant, which yeah. my version of that basically was like, um, you know, kind of the language of the rebellion, so that we could communicate amongst ourselves without, you know, alerting, you yeah, know, yeah. Uh, others that we were part of the rebellion. Oh my God. So I'm hoping that I can find some people outside of city, like farmhouses, whatever. Okay. Find one of those that maybe has like, you know, like the third, like the third post on their fence. You know, has it's got like markings a, on a one. Marking Wait, on it I something. did tell Yasuf that when I gave the Oof. signal and that he would know what the signal is. But I just now decided what the signal is. Uh, James V, 1971, gives two re-rolls to all of you guys. Hey. Whoa. Hey. Oh, wow. And one to me. Thank you. Wait. Thank hey. you. Hey, no, that's, we came out way ahead on that. That's, Thanks, James. That, thank you. That's uh, very nice. Um, I'm going to, go ahead. Real quick. The V your stands eyes, for very awesome. Your eyes are drawn to two striking figures amongst the chaos. Standing high on one of the ridges is a, a gnome. Thank bald, you. big beard, standing on what looks like a, it looks almost like a, one of those walkers from Star Wars. Yeah. Just, you know, He's gnome standing sized. on top of one? Yeah. Like he could sit in it and it would walk around and do shit for him. Like a mount. Yeah. And a cloaked Warforge. Hmm. Oh, it's anorexic. Okay. I want to oh, wow. send, I want to send three of my cats to find Yasuf. 
Okay. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Your cats go off to do their thing. Um. So, you, uh. I want. What's up, Virva? No, I'm okay. Go ahead. Okay. Great. So you're going to go check one of the farmhouses for the third post. Are you going to leave a signal there of some kind? Uh, well, if there's if they've got the markings on the post, then I'm actually going to Draw knock cast. on. I'm going to knock on the door and then speak to them using thieves' can. Okay. Um, you know, not just basically, you know, like things like how is the weather? You know, innocuous phrases that when you put them together, kind of form the okay. language of the rebellion. Yeah, you find a you find a farmhouse on the Perlamore side of the river, not the Cambridge side. Uh, you go over there, you knock on the door, and you start speaking to them. The thieves can't. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them don't have any clue what you're saying, yeah. but then one uncle in the back is like, oh, oh yeah. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, and he responds gotcha. with the I asked him if he could come phrase. outside and, and help me move a rock that uh, I needed some help with. Yeah, so. I hear those things deflated, and he goes outside to help you. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing suspicious uh. at all. <laughs> yeah. There's just a rock. You gotta see a man I about a rock. Moving. Because yeah. I move rocks. Hey, actually, if you're a farmer, that's one, one of the scourges of farming is having rocks in your And field. trees. Fuck trees, man. Yeah. Uh, he grabs you by the wrist. Just saying. Uh, Donovan, good to see you. I thought you, thought you were dead. Hey, he knows you. Um, well, of course, you led the rebellion. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been working to try and get back as soon as I can. Uh, do you know what's happening here? No idea. They're telling us to pull into the city. Okay. We're packing um, up our things been, now. They need to evacuate. Obviously, obviously these people are, well, I shouldn't say obviously. They seem to be opposing, um, I'm wondering if we, sh if this is an enemy, uh, enemy of my enemy is my friend type situation. I don't know exactly how to deal with this yet. That being said, um, I do want to get inside the city. I don't know if it's safe for you two or not because I don't know how this is going to end. Should um, we stay out here? Well, I'm afraid if they keep coming this way, they'll overrun you, our farm. I'm sorry to say. It could be a you, trap either you should, way. You should absolutely not stay. Um, okay. That's that's a bad idea. Um, Maybe head we towards have nowhere the to go. I would, we I would I would say your best chance at this point is probably to go inside the city unless your family has the ability to live out in the wilds. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you a third option. Justin, you know, comes to you. You can use it or not. Uh, you can have them go onto the ship and send the ship out to sea. Oh, just um, this way. It doesn't. Many, uh, act out, as a outside, of, outside of the city, how many of the of us would you say there are? Of farmers, or do you of, mean rebellion? You know. Okay. Uh, a handful. Most of us stayed in the city in key places. Let the others know, um, and uh, you'll have safe harbor. Uh, on the harbor. On the harbor. Uh, as long as you need it. We'll do. Yeah. Okay. And goes in to tell his I family. I tap you on the shoulder. Are we growing our family? A rebellion is growing. I look very upset. Um, <laughs> this is, this is, uh, this is merely a survival. So. <laughs> so. It's just to, it's just to increase. So. Our, our family is growing. I knew it. That's great news. Oh, no. Bluto screams to you guys from the ship. Captain, they're coming! And you hear uh, the horn blast as something is coming towards your ship. In the air or on the ground? On the ground. Okay. So what do you guys do? Yeah. Well, we definitely... Get into the city. Or don't we want to defend the ship? Yeah, we got to defend the ship. Especially if I'm going to be using it to get these people out of... That's true. Out of harm's yep. way. So I start booking it back to the ship. I okay. follow. Book it to the ship. Book it to the ship. Atutska, what are you doing? Uh, oh, by the way, please don't murder this person. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Got it. Thanks. Yeah. No, we're we're good. Um, we have an equal amount of the army is like going for the is the army going for the ship and and also still attacking the walls of Perlamore? It's most of the army, like ninety nine percent of the army, is attacking Perlamore. A small squad has broken off and is attacking your ship, as it can definitely be used to bridge the uh, oh. the gap. Okay. Yeah. Go back to the ship. Ah, uh, I want to like warn the people of Pro War to evacuate. I, I, I have know. a feeling they know what's happening, right? I mean, it's like, <laughs> the mountain exploded. Exploded, yeah. but is it like, well, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, how big is this? Like, do people in the inner city? I don't know how big the city is. It's one of the biggest cities you can imagine. Uh, I'm trying to think of uh, something equivalent that I could reference New that York? you would get. Ah, uh, yeah, like the main island. New York, why not? 
Yeah, well, if we have to defend our ship, if they can wow, use that, then yeah, city. I'll go back to the ship as well. That's really big. Yeah, they'll have to work through it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, you can ship always time. give the uh, the ship the order to full retreat. We got. That's I want to get these people on the ship first. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's get I you mean, guys they, out there. They supported me when they absolutely had no reason to. Put this to the side. Oh. Do do do. Well, do do do. Gotta grab some minions. Minions, minions. Like, I guess fight. Plug myself in. Minions, fighting time. Is our battle song? I hope not. I hope it's it is. What? Have we got to seventy <laughs> really? viewers? No. Oh. Anywhere close? Um, more than halfway there. More than halfway nice. there. Great. Remind them what the. At 70 views, you get to hear the song, The Battle of Tarask versus Catron. Which K-C-A-T-R-O-N. Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> and that is the song, that is the song of the oh. battle that we had during our 24-hour Alzheimer's Awareness Day, mm -hmm. uh, in which we played 20th level versions of all of our characters. And Battle of Tarask. <clears throat> that James V sent. Thank you. With a creature that Robert, Robert? Robert P. 3001. Yeah, thank you. Robert P. 001 sent us. Three zero zero black one. Robert P. 3001. Robert P. is looking to the future. Robert P. 3. Robert P. 3001 is not impressed with the world we live in now. 2015, like, hey. now. He's like, 2015, He's like, fuck this shit. 86 years from now, it's going to be a lot more awesome. I'm not that smart, but I know it's more than 86 years, my friend. Huh? No, nope, that's 86 years. Now it's like 986. Oh, yeah, I was right the first time. Yo! God damn it. Why'd you listen to me? I'm just a sword. Are you guys doing math in your head? Huh? I was, I was <laughs> like amused by this. I was, doing a, little, I was doing a little napkin math. Yeah, we're just doing some concurrent binomials. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love it. I love What's them binomials. Huh? Can I see that sheet of paper? Sure. Really? Yeah. Oh, it has nothing to do with this. It has nothing to do with it. Yeah. It's just giving me a uh, stat roundabouts. Like here, this would be a fair fight. Here. Um, it's an email from Mason McDaniel to Mason McDaniel, and the subject is kill the players level five. Uh, wow. Hey Mason, <laughs> uh, maybe stop emailing yourself and use a little thing called Evernote. That's a, I love Evernote. Why am I going to open up two programs so I can just open up one on the fly? I don't know Evernote. It's honestly, it's... It's, it's great. Yeah. It's just, it, uh, do you want a program that does everything you want it to do? <laughs> by the way, I'm sponsored by Evernote. I uh, knew it. If that were true, you'd be wearing an Evernote sweat actually, jacket right now. Which I wish I had an Evernote sweat jacket because the logo is amazing. It's an elephant. Oh, it's an it elephant? Is. It's an yeah. elephant. And it's two. Green and white elephant. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which, green's a great color, too. Not great on me, but it's a great color. You hear that, Evernote? You want to sponsor this podcast? <laughs> get in touch with uh, Dungeon Master mm -hmm. at Saving Throw Show. I I don't ever expect anyone to uh. want to endorse the things I say. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Funny. I like referring to it as a podcast. Is what I like doing. I think that's a better of way what to go. this what we're doing. You just called it a podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, did. I always tell people I'm like, okay, so I have this thing. It's a podcast. We don't record it. Uh, it is highly visual. <laughs> but it is a it's like a live stream, but a podcast. <laughs> yes. if you it's close, a lot like a live stream. Listen, guys, if you close your but eyes, this becomes a podcast. <laughs> Toot sweet. Well, you have to close your eyes and then listen to it after it's finished. Yeah. Do you have to listen to it after it's finished? You can listen. I mean, because they stream to podcasts it's too. It's oh, only a podcast if, if you Put. if it has happened. Oh. Yep. That's listen. I didn't make the definition. That's fair. I mean, we're just following your rules. Brutal. <clears throat> burl, burl, burl. I, listen, oh, I love podcasts. Let me be clear. Podcasts are amazing. <laughs> I stand by my podcast. <laughs> okay, there we go. I, uh, these look like nasty things. We're yep, fighting yep. these guys. Oh, shit. With this one at the helm. Uh, it's only until I get some Warforged minis. I'm going to load up on a shit ton of Warforged minis and gnomes. Dragon coat. I think I have a lot of friends in chat right now. So hello to all of my friends. Hi, Amy's friends. Everyone else, fuck off. Um, everyone else is my family. Oh. Sweet. 
Actually, some of them might be my family. I told my family to log in. Uh, <laughs> uh, Blue Water Baron says, good night. Oh, good night. Oh, good night. Good night. Good I will night. miss you more than them. I will miss you. I am I in love with you. I love of, you. Out of the five of us, I will miss you the fourth. That's very nice. I thought it was. Uh, is, is Chris's character actually with us? Yeah. Okay. I don't know his stats or what he does. I'm assuming he's just going to give you guys a bunch of uh, bardic no. inspirations. Well, remember when yeah. we fought the Tarascan? We still don't know what he did. He did uh, seven points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I wrote it down. Yeah, he, he actually was adamant that he did eight mm -hmm. until we we did the math, yeah. and it was seven. <laughs> I love this. I'm excited to kill you guys. Ah, well, I'm excited to prove you wrong. <laughs> I'm excited because of having a big slave family. Well, you could just call them. That family. phrasing is, is kind <laughs> of wrong. Yeah, you can just call them family. <laughs> slave. Slave family. So, four Warforges. Slave family. Oh, no. <laughs> nope. What should I do today? Slave family. <laughs> no, I think everyone would shit themselves again. You just want to flark them a little bit. So, <laughs> four Warforges come running at you. Why? Uh, what did we do? We ran to oppose them. Uh, Essentially, that's water between there. There's a 20-foot gap. Not 20-foot gap, but a 20-foot height difference from the edge of the ship to the bottom. Oh, so they, they're, they're, so they're on shore up. over here. They're on shore. And you we're on, on the ship, ship here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys are about 10 to 15 feet. This is a very narrow fucking uh, waterway that you guys mm -hmm. are on. Mm -hmm. okay. Very precarious. Mm -hmm. um, they're running up, and there is a gnome on a mechanical ostrich-like being without a head. Gross. Yeah, I know, right? Get them! Get that ship! He squeaks and squawks at you. Everyone give me initiative rolls. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, oh you've got to be kidding me. Stop did not do Just so you know, I have dice. This is stop. This is go. Stop normally does me well. Historically, okay. traditionally, and scientifically. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Those three things. Emotionally, too. Emotion, emotion. Guys, <laughs> let's look at the emotions of these dice. Okay. If there's one thing I know, it's that dice hold emotions and water holds memories. <laughs> 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 right. So, 25 to 20. Anyone get that? Yeah, 21. Ooh. 21, a Tootska. Tootska killing it. Our rogue is amazing. Our rogue is amazing. Where are you, Atutska? I'm right here. Oh, there you are, Dale Clawthorn, for some reason. Oh, that's right. Get your Boop. little charts. Get your charts right. I'm going to do some organizing. 20 to 15. No, 15 to 10. Hey, hey, I'm on 12. On yeah. Okay. You your bonuses to rolls. Yeah, plus three to everything for being cool. And That's possibly right. Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> may or may not be out. Catholic. Jury's out on that one. Uh, ten to five. Six. Uh, eight. eight. Oh. Still bad. All right, so I'm just going to fucking wing Asher because he didn't send me his character sheet. Shame on you. Shame, shame, shame. We'll just text him. Hey, dude, what's your attack bonus? Uh, hey, dude, how many hit points do you have? Two, hey, dude, what seven. spells do you have memorized? And given, hey, that dude. He's, given that he's on set, he should very easily be able to respond. Well, no, he has Look, we've all worked morning. background. He's free. <laughs> he is free right now. He's, he's, he's in Long Beach. Yeah. He's probably in holding for five hours. Yeah. Oh, the poor bastard. His phone's dead is what's going on right now. Yeah, exactly. There's like, there's there's like seven people clustered around one art, yeah, one outlet going, uh, are you done with this? Have you, you guys done? ever seen those, uh, those stickers that are essentially the power ports? You know, light sockets? They have stickers that you can get and just put them on a wall so people will think they're uh, sockets. Nice. Really? It's How fucked up rude. things you can do at the airport. I, I bought an extra battery. Yes. To plug my phone into, and yeah. let me tell you, it is the best purchase I've ever made, <laughs> and that includes my coffin. <laughs> you bought your coffin already? <laughs> Why would you not buy a coffin when it's on sale? <laughs> Dude, is this true? Costco. 
Did you? No, I haven't bought my coffin yet. <sighs> like, that doesn't seem like a I bad idea. I wouldn't put it past you. A, I no, a bad not. owner. I actually have been thinking for a while about building my own coffin, but I do not think it would turn out that good. Well, see, that's why you build By your the pet's time coffin you get first. it, like, who, who gives a shit? Yeah, I feel like you're, you're asking for it. You're asking you're for it. You're tempting death. fate. Uh, I, yeah. I feel like you're doing the opposite by building your coffin. You're just like, you're fuck you, death, bring it on. I'm not so afraid. Yeah, yeah you I are guess you'd have to do it with a certain... Dear death. death. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah. In the I would not know that I would have that confidence. <laughs> I don't have that. It's not confidence. It's just, you know. Ignorance? Ignorance, for oh, okay. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Willful ignorance, I think, is really kind of... The best way to describe Joyful it. Yeah. Joyful ignorance. Joyful Blissful you ignorance. Guys, I am always so happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My happiness abounds. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> so excited. Well, I thought about the army. Oh, I don't know what's happening over there, but I don't like it. There's a lot of page turning. Guys, if you're, right. if you're one of the 35 or 40 people on chat, I like to call get you a friend. The All you need, if everyone got one friend, boom, song. Boom. That's exactly Immediately what song. It's a so great song, too, and I really want to play it tonight and work pretty hard on it. Every single one of you opened six tabs of this. That <laughs> will definitely help. <laughs> so, <laughs> first and Holy foremost, shit, Atutska, six. start us off. Okay, Atutska, we got to fight these mother effers. Well, we have to, do, we have to use long range, yeah, since there's quite the... Unless you're going to jump over the rail. And yeah, exactly mm -hmm. like I'm going to nope. do. Mm -hmm. gonna, it's going to do... Uh, Are they gonna on use the ship? No, they're no, off the ship. No, they're off the ship. This, we're on the ship right here. How are we on the this ship? This is the ship. We got we on the beat ship. Them. We beat them. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. We're, beat them. we're like, hey, we're, 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 we booked we got, it. We, they're, we're there. Our running, so you guys. our running saving throws? Yeah. Okay. We made our running um, saving throws. Okay. Yeah. I'll give you guys all the advantage you need. You're fighting an army. I thought we just. Oh, I need a small. lot of advantage. Uh, if there's one thing I know about armies, they fight on their stomachs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's her? That's a quote. I thought you, this was it just is. a small. Rommel. That is, I'm just saying, yeah. in the grand Probably. scheme of uh, things, uh, we're fighting an army. Like, so. Wait. <laughs> Most quotes I just assume are wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, okay. So I guess uh, I'll go ahead and use my sharp bow to attack. Attack this one? Yeah, oh, yeah. get the gnome leader dude on yep, the weird the leader, ostrich bike. The yeah, in the back, one. that's the one we gotta okay. worry about. Nice. Are you sneak attacking? I, can you sneak attack with a range? I, can I? I don't think uh, I with the range? But yeah. If, yeah, but you either have to have an ally next to the thing, oh. the thing, uh, or you the have enemy. to Target. have surprised it or like be hidden. Okay. Yeah. I think she has a thing where if she's attacking someone that hasn't acted, she oh, gets she to do the. She's not path? an assassin. I don't know. Oh no, she doesn't. She's not oh. an assassin. She's a. Got it. Arcane. Oh, that's right. Trickster. Trickster. Spells. Never mind. Okay, so there you go. So Asked you and answered. So okay. you do not get sneak attack damage. Ooh, okay. Hello. You can just shoot that dude if you want. I think you might have to move closer. I don't know. You're way back here. Uh, I don't know what the range of a long of a short bow is anyway. She's um, going to arc it up and over and hope she hits. I think the effective range is like 60 There's feet, a There's yeah. a 20 foot difference. So I, I think the thing is you can't probably see him from where you're standing on the ship. Okay, you so have to come to the edge and fire down. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and allow you to make it there. Well, I'll bet still. Um, I was like, I wish I could sneak and then... It's such a cowardly thing, but you're, you're a rogue. rogue. <laughs> I always Jeez. go badly. No, you're doing all the right things. If you're a paladin, like I want to sneak up on these motherfuckers. Okay, you're like that's kind really? of not cool. Okay, um, yeah. So I don't know. Can I can I move and then? I'll let you say you got all the way to the edge because I just randomly placed you guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. So so, so put yourself on the, the edge. edge. And then, um, oh yeah, because I could get a bonus You're action. Can you do it? Can she do cunning? Of glory. Yes. And oh. Sorry, Lady Gaga. She's on okay. the edge. The edge. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Okay. 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 I'm gonna. So. <laughs> I get it. No. <laughs> Shame points. Where, where did that guy come from? Ah, uh, he was hiding. Uh, he dropped a cube on the ground. <laughs> like a transformer Whoa, popped out. Whoa! Wow. We have got our hands full. If they okay, have yeah. So to I want to shoot and hit this yeah. guy. Yeah. Shoot the uh, commander. Yeah. Shoot. Stealth first. Him. Oh. Uh, it was a 16 and bounce. Yeah. I know. So it comes flying at him, and the warforge reaches up and just smacks it out of the air. Um, can yeah. I use the bonus action to hide? Sure. Yes. You can use your cunning action to hide. Or cunning, I mean, yeah, like cunning bonus action. Yeah, fire! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, duck down. Please, 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 please. Oh. Pretty good. Uh, stealth. Oh, okay. Yeah, 17. 17. Love it. Okay. okay you're I also do. Love it. We can <laughs> all love it. Fuck you, Atutska. Sorry, not you, the paper. Oh, I was It just I, keeps falling over. I think the wind is like 
coming around and well, lifting it. Well, let's, let's figure this out. It's falling forward. Let's give it a little bend towards the front. Or That's what that. I've been doing. I've been bending and tweaking it. Now it's going to hide into the monster. Monster one. Monster one. I'm just saying bring that crease to the A. I don't like that <laughs> phrase. <laughs> I don't know why, it just sounds gross. Yeah. Bring that crease to the A. Yep. <laughs> hey, baby. Nasty. You want to bring it's that crease to something. the A? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That sound definitely bothers me. <laughs> it should. That you just made. Which, which you part? have an inspiration. You could do another attack. I, I want to say like for when it's sneaky. absolutely needed. Okay. Crucial. Could have re-rolled. I could have re-rolled. Yeah, he point. sneers at you and throws his hand up. And you see a glimmer of mage armor appear over him. Oh, mother of. Ping! <laughs> so attacks does don't do, do anything? Does he do spirit fingers? No. Or is it magic? It just helps him, makes him a little tougher. tougher yeah, essentially from anyone firing missile attacks, he's got a bonus. Now, if someone wants to come up there and wall him in the face, that's completely different. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mage armor grants a plus four, correct? Uh, plus three. Plus three. Wonderful. Actually, it makes your armor class 13 plus whatever your dex is. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Unless your armor class was higher to begin with, in which case it doesn't do jack shit. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's nice and, you know, neutralizing. It just works just like armor does. It's nice. It's a good... I, I like the change to this film. <coughs> You're a fan of the change. Udo! What do you Udo. want to do? Mm. Kill something. Dink, 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 dink. Oh, uh, as you... As you move into battle, your lantern Unleash shakes lantern. and shimmers, and you feel a new power unlock within it. Ah! The monsters didn't do anything? That was, he did his uh, spirit fingers, oh. shield. Okay, great, great, great. Oh. Okay. How, or no, it's this. Uh, spirit fingers, this is jazz hands. What is this? This is nothing. Well, no, that's still spirit fingers. This you is what still guys do in front. won't stop doing to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Amy, how's the boobies? <laughs> Let's. That, that's a terrible evening. <laughs> Very loud. <laughs> <laughs> the typing? Yeah, they got the, the, the 40 up. Yeah. yeah. You date a lot of typing teachers, though. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that that's kind of on you. Backspace, that's backspace, my, backspace, backspace. That's my type. If Centered you right here. <laughs> Damn it, Amy. Getting all of these guys. Damn it. The, oh, this is the only dude who does not, <laughs> is not within the effect of this. I am dropping an 8 die 6 fireball. Fireball. Yay. Uh -huh. So DC 4. 14. How many do you need? 14? Do you have it? I, I got it. Welcome um, to Blaze Town, population 5. <laughs> dexterity right? saves. Yeah, five. I need five. dexterity saves. All right. The, the gnome makes it. Ooh, I, get to roll. I get to reroll these ones because I'm an That's elemental roll. adept. Two. Uh, so, uh, 10. And. I'm going to periscope, see if we can get some more. Okay. And 22 plus 9 is 31, plus 5 is 36 points of damage. So starting from a Tuska, uh -huh. uh, the first one uh, did not make it. Uh huh. Next one made it. Uh huh. Next one. He takes one, 18. He takes 18. Uh huh. Okay, 18. First one takes 36. 36. Uh, one. Next one didn't make it. 36. Okay. Next one made it. 18. And that one made it. Commander one-hander. All right. And I... Um, Commander one-hander. I'm an elemental adept, so if they have any resistance, it does not count. I do full damage against these you jackwads. You pierce that resistance. Yes. You burn I pierce the, the steel. Veil. Mm. You're a leaf on the wind. Um, oh, did you guys see that, uh, that joke? Which one? Oh, the spear? The wash joke. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's it. That's it for me. You should tell it to the audience. This way they can grow in with us. Yeah, so uh, for chat, for anybody who didn't see this, uh, on it was making the rounds on Twitter and Facebook, whatever. Um, and uh, it was, uh, I guess Nathan Fillion said it at San Diego Comic-Con. He was telling a joke, and he said, uh, does anybody know how Reavers clean their spears? And he said, by running them through the wash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Did you watch oh. Firefly or Serenity? Serenity? Yeah. They clean their wash. spears by running them oh, through the wash. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. got you. Yeah, it's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, old NF at it again. Nathan uh, Fillion. Got it, yep. They're, they're the, close oh, like the, that. The thing, every, everyone calls him NF. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> NF, SF. Oh, All right. Yeah, so NF at SDCC was talking about FF, Firefly. And mm. he was talking, oh, never mind. 
It's not a good enough joke to nope. continue. So, those five. Instead of attacking, they launch up their hands. A little spear thing comes flying out. Grappling hook hits the mast, and they just... <laughs> pulling themselves up. They're now aboard the ship. Good. Yeah? Hello, Atutska. I was hiding. It's Do they all have Cockney accents? No, that's just me. Oh. No, you're American. <laughs> I oh. mean, you can use it if you'd like, but... Don't act like it's inherent to who you are. So you drop down to hide, and all of a sudden, two big metal feet come down in front of you, just doosh. Shit. Yep. Uh, attack. We've got them exactly where moved. We End of them. I, sh I should stop doing those actions one after the other. Donovan. Okay. Bring your pretty face to my axe. Uh, the hey, hey, villain. I feel like we should be like kicking some ass right now. The Cockney villain. I'm going to attack this one here. Okay. He's fresh, you know. Yes, he is. That's the point. If, um, if, if, you, if you attack one of the ones that's taking 36 points of damage, he might die. Uh, so that, would this one be one that's taking 36? Nope. This one on the end took 36? The one on yep. the end did. Uh, yep. Okay. Um, I will be casting Hunter's Mark. Ooh. When did you get levels in Ranger? I know, um, right? I got le uh, levels. Uh, I actually have had this spell for a little bit. Uh, it's just the first time that it's really made sense to use it instead of smiting. But I think this guy's going to be up for a little while. Long story short, I have um, I, I got it from the Oath of Vengeance. Um, so Ooh. I basically I declare someone um, to be my uh, the focus of my mark, and and I go after them with a vengeance. And when that target dies, I am able to move the hunter's mark to a new target with a bonus gotcha, action. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, so anyway, uh, I uh, yeah. So that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and, and attack this uh, this marking warforged. is a free action. It's a bonus action. Bonus action. Okay. Yeah. So my bonus action goes to casting hunter's mark. Um, and I roll an 18 to hit. 18 does, hits. All right. And Hunter's Mark gives me an extra d6 of damage. It's a really good little spell. Um, so nine. Uh, 16 damage to the Warforge that had previously taken 36. 36. Oh, sorry about that. And also should be updating my to hit because I have a plus one sword which I'm very excited about still standing damn it I have an extra attack oh wait did you take a bonus action so can you use a bonus action again whenever you uh, use your action to attack you just make however many attacks you he, he has okay. an extra attack he it's gets, a he's well, a wondering how the uh, bonus action stacked up but that's fine it's he, not a bonus action it's whenever you use your action to attack if you're a fighter paladin ranger you just get to make an extra attack okay yeah that's fine Oh, hey, so close. Uh, rolled a 19, so 28. You're really beating yourself over that 19. Oh, man. I was, ah. I, but I, when I crit, it's amazing. Um, yourself even more so than for other classes. <laughs> Dropping those twants. I get to reroll ones because I'm a great weapon. That sounds like a dirty word. All right, so 8, 14, and this is actually twants. plus 4 because I have a plus weapon. What did I just say? 18? Yeah. Holy shit, 18. Uh, so 22 damage on the second attack. Damn. Describe it. Nice. Um, uh, flark this guy. Just flark this guy. Uh, I, I, okay. To start with, there's no flark way the I can compare it to what Atuska does. But I come in with my sword and uh, give him one to, the, one to the clavicle. It cuts in, but not quite enough. So then the second attack comes in and cuts right clean into liver region. Ooh, metallic area. liver region. Yeah, that, that whole thing. Uh, mm -hmm. And he starts gooping like oil and like weird magical alchemical stuff and he just like his his eyes do like the terminator things like and then he goes dot dead okay um and i uh, what do you think did i do a good job uh you just wrecked it man yeah. i wrecked it up top bro up top ah <laughs> why did i say that you're gonna, you're gonna, you're like, gonna high five regret, your sword you're gonna this. <laughs> <laughs> tom you're gonna get sick of this really quick <laughs> it's too late <laughs> um <clears throat> yeah so you actually you guys see me as i cleave through and i say great job sword <laughs> Arky. okay so i'm gonna move this is the first time i'm casting this my spiritual weapon and i've somehow started to Worship a cat god who I, I'm not really sure who she is, but I'm like there. I clearly am one with cats. Is it Bast? Uh, yep, yep, Bast. Bast it is. 
So a cat, <laughs> so every cat, because every cat thinks it's a god, uh, yes. and is worthy of worship. Individual yeah. Bast is the Egyptian so, goddess of cats. I didn't know that. So I, I'm like, you know, somehow I, I, I don't know, I've heard it somewhere. I'm like, Bast, if, if you were one with me, uh, turn a big, turn all of your power into a spectral kitty. <laughs> and I summon, and I create a spiritual weapon from Bast that looks like, that looks like a cat and is simultaneously also looks like a blade. So, <laughs> so like the cat's mouth and two claws look like the blade of the cat and I summon it and it's here and I, and I attack uh, Cat him. attack. Cat attack. Um, 14, I'm gonna re-roll that. Okay. Nope. <laughs> right in the oh. drink. Oh my God. <laughs> Pretty better, okay, so does Pretty it 19. Better. Hit. Pretty better does hit. Okay. 19 hits for 1d8 plus 5. But then I'm not even done. No, Shit. Okay. Really? Should I reroll that? Why not? No, I, oh. mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Six damage. Okay. Um, as a bonus action, I can move the, the cat blade up to 20 feet. So now it moves here to attack another creature within five feet of this creature. Oh, so okay. And that's another uh, attack. Let's here. This yeah, will let's represent your blade. Cat blade. Oh, oh, that's pretty cool. Weird. I, <sighs> can it occupy the same the same space as a person though? No. Damn it. Because it has to move around, and if someone's okay. in that space, they'll get whacked. All right, it's gonna repeat the attack. Unless it's like I, I would rule it's okay for someone who's doing concentration is just like fucking sitting there like a monk or a wizard. Yeah. It could occupy that space, but anyone else now. Okay. Um, oh yeah, because it says clerics of deities who are associated with a particular weapon, cat weapon, sure. Yeah, um, it wasn't like a cat. Make this or spell's effect resemble that weapon, just so you know. So for sure, it does. We need artist renderings oh, of this. Oh yes, that's how you celebrate a nineteen. Nice. And then plus five. What is that? Four, three. Okay, eight. Eight damage to the Ooh second wee. one. And that's my turn. Rolling that's a nineteen. Good damage there. Pretty rolling good. a 19 is like hitting a single off the wall. Like <laughs> almost. Uh, yeah. Sorry, that was the that was the least that was the worst reference I could make for a D and D fucking I'm podcast. Podcast. What a podcast. We <laughs> great are. podcast, guys. <laughs> really great podcast. Oh, sorry, not gonna let that Asher. What the fuck is Asher gonna do? Uh, inspiration. He's gonna, yeah, he's gonna grant some ins inspiration. Um, who should we hit? He's gonna inspire you. Yeah. yeah. Udo. I Udo. believe if he's fifth level now, his ins inspiration dice go. Oh, he goes up. to a D eight. Yeah, I think it might even be a D ten, but D10. I, have to, I, I think it's a D eight. We'll leave I a D. Right. All right, we'll throw a D eight in there. Fuck it. Why not? Why not? Who cares? Who cares, Avro? No. Yeah, it's D eight now. There you go. All right. Uh, okay, Mons. Uh, Do you know that because of how awesome Bart is? No, that is not the reason I know that. I feel like that <laughs> might be why. That's why everyone should know it. Okay, Tutska, how you doing? Um, I'm still hiding, so I'm going to sneak nice. attack this one. Surprise, motherfucker! This Surprise. one, so which I have advantage on. Right? Oh, God, thank... Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank the maker. Um, so seven... Uh, right, 17. Um, hit. Yep, okay, great. And so then I have three D6... Oh, oh, wow. Oh, sure. Reroll that. Yeah. Uh, That's three. Okay. I think she can yeah. reroll one of them. I don't know if she can do no. all three. Oh, I can't. Oh. Tell you what, even or odd? What do you want? Even. Can't be even. Go ahead and reroll all three of them. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, James V. Oh, that is exactly the opposite. And <laughs> 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 that's a seven, that's 11 right there. Okay. Uh, was that just four, your sneak 16. attack dice? This is just my sneak attack dice. Nice. Right? Yeah, yeah. you okay, roll so a 16. d6 for your weapon as well. Oh, oh okay, so oh, 22 of damage. 22 damage? Jeez, Louise. Right? Uh, no, 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 I'm 19. sorry. 19. 19, sorry, it's plus three, not plus six. 19. But that's also... 16 plus three is you, so you, you need to roll your d8. No, d4, or d6. I thought sneak attack huh? is 3d6. It is, but that's just your... Oh, rogue. and you also and get your weapon. Yeah. And 1d8. Yep. Yes, sorry. Uh, okay, so what did I? Oh god, what 19? was it? Nineteen. It's nineteen. Okay. Nineteen. It's okay. 
Describe it. <laughs> oh, really? Really? Because <laughs> Archie came in there and then wrecked shop a little bit for you. Yep. Um, she loosened the lid a little bit. It's yeah. okay. The mechanical <laughs> yeah, lid. Yeah, yeah, just a <laughs> um, so these are these are you said the mechanical creatures. Are you still streaming us? No, I'm trying to, but I won't connect. Okay. These right? These were what were they called? Yeah, again? they're the Warforges. Okay. Um, oh, that's exciting. Okay, <laughs> so um, what I do is I like rip off their limbs and I quickly like craft gears like in a clock, and then I like Ooh, grind it to like little bits, like as it's going through a clock, and then I'm like cranking and cranking, yeah. and it's just like a little crinkly thing, and then I just roll it up and I throw it up. <laughs> <laughs> I like to ima imagine that somewhere in your lineage is the mask. That's why you're able to do all this like wacky shit, <laughs> right? <laughs> she has hammer space for sure. Yeah. Um, I love that you killed somebody using their own body. Um, <laughs> well, you that's using the like They're giving to, like, themselves a hug to death. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hug to death. Yeah. I love it. Oh boy, 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 oh, boy. If only we could action. all. Can I go back into hiding? Or no? Yeah, you can. Okay. Like, if only we could all Ugh. die. Being Probably hugged. not. I don't want to go um, that way. So Archie definitely wants to go that way. Probably does not work. Not really. Yep. Nope. As long as it's a genuine hug, I think I'd be okay with being hugged to death. If with it were your like, own arms, if they were like created into gears, okay, so you're like just grinding arms, yourself. No, <laughs> that's the worst thing ever. <laughs> like ripping you, like like going from the inside out, like little, like making little love spirals. And okay. Just, like, <laughs> love wow. Spirals. And you like roll it up in like a b ball of yarn. Yeah. Okay. To be clear, <laughs> this is the most enthusiastic you've been all night. <laughs> yeah. I would just like yeah. to point out. God, we yeah. should have let Vera kill something earlier. Do <laughs> you yeah, have a dice box I can use? A dice, dice box? box. Like a like saving, saving throw, throw dice, throw dice box? box? No, it's the clear one that you put dice in. Oh. It's okay. Oh, it's strong. I got one. Right here. Where? I need a right prop. Right here. About the Skittles. Right here. Open them up. Do it. Thank Make you. it Perfect. happen. Yep. This will do. Dice can stay in there. Is this, uh, what's his face? Ad Adams. I can give this to Ben next week when I see him. Okay. Or I keep it for myself. Sucker! Yeah, take that, Adam. So, the legs suck into themselves, and you guys hear, hear uh, a Man, I haven't had Skittles in a minute. As I this know, thing levitates know. straight up 20 feet. Is it a gnome warforged or a gnome? It's a gnome riding, look, looks like an ostrich. Warforged? Possibly. It, doesn't, it looks like it's of the same make from the warforges. Okay, okay. Same make, same model. What's the license plate? Uh, <laughs> Z. Scary. That's it. Just Z. No, Model yeah. Z. Model Doesn't Z. matter. It's a gnome. I'm pulling him over either way. All right. <laughs> he points his fingers at this cluster over here. You will die! No, and we won't. Yes, he's cone of cold coming right As at you. As he says that, I say, unlikely. Uh, I disagree. <laughs> I also disagree then with you. <laughs> awesome. Uh, da -da 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 cone of cold is brutal. I know. I'm resistant to um, Constitution saving throw, gnomes. ladies and gentlemen. DC 15. Shit. Oh, I've got a four plus four. Nice, made it. Yes, made it. I first. Constitution. Made it. Mm. Oh, oh reroll, re reroll, re reroll that. Where the fuck did all my D8s go? <laughs> not, uh, not much better. Did not make it. You want another one? Uh, well, no. let's just see what happens. Well, wait. Do you have? You have? Um, does she have evasion yet? Do you have evasion? No, have, she has uncanny dodge. Have, it's a constitution save anyhow. It's no. not a dexterity save. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> that was aggressive. It's an aggressive. That was wow. the most aggressive I've ever seen. <laughs> ever since you started worshiping cats, you really <laughs> have <laughs> gone <laughs> taking a turn for the worse. Yeah. I mean, it was bad before. Now it's just unbearable. <laughs> Okay, first one, and that's going to be 7 plus 8. That's 15. Some people are like, you're not funny, you're just mean. 15, 38. You know what? There's a, there's a career in that. Like, <laughs> you know what? People would say right. that about Jeff Ross, and I would say Jeff Ross is a disgusting piece of shit. Hmm. So, hey, good w for him. What about uh, Don Rickles? Same thing. Disgusting piece of shit. Wow. Really? Funny. Wow. So, 38 damage. To everybody who uh, succeed or who failed their saving Fuck. throw, those who yeah thirty eight, those of you that passed your saving throw, 
are only going to take uh, half of that, which is 17? 19? 19. 19? 19. <laughs> yeah, 19. Oh, man. Hang on by a thread. I got you. Oh, oh. Looks like we've got... Oh, thank you, Tice. 8769. He wants to add two more bad guys. The, no! The fuck is happening? No! The Where's Warforged. Blue Water Baron? Don't say goodnight three hours ago. Get back on. The Warforge, as you, you throw it over the edge, and you see it immediately start to like reform itself, and you see the other Warforge that was cut pull itself together. Does its together. arm pop up like Shredder in yes. Secret of the Ooze? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's climbing up the side of the, the thing, the ship. Does um, it does it roar like Toka from to Secret of the Ooze? <laughs> yes. I think what and we Razor. need is a tiger. We do need a tiger. Too bad he's been caged. I forgot my sunglasses. Ew. I'm not okay with that. Thank you. Shame point. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Just take my game and go. All right. So, next up, Udo. Udo. Uh, disengage action. Fuck to, this, uh, I'm out of back. here. 10, 20, 30. Yeah. And uh, then... Doesn't uh, disengage half your speed? No, it's your full movement. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to burn two action. sorcery points to cast another fireball on this asshole. Bring it on, douche. Fuck that guy. Mm -hmm. Quicken spell. Incoming. Uh, do we get to reroll ones and twos or just ones? You should look it up because I see a bunch uh, of twos. You should look it up. Um, 15, does that make it? Looking at it up, oh, okay. just barely. Uh, so you better get this party started. No, no, go. Looking it up, I'm looking go. it up now. If uh, people got kicked out for bad puns, you'd be dead. Yeah. Wow. No, that's why I'm running the game, so I can't <laughs> be kicked out. All right, uh, no, it's just my safety nets. Oh, you don't get to re-roll, you just treat them as twos. All right, so whatever. Mother f okay. That's Five, fine. 15, 26 points of damage, so I guess he takes 13. Yay! Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And since I roll, or since I cast a spell that was over first level, I do not trigger a wild surge. Now there's a way we can extend your uh, your your range on that, correct? It's true, we, we, we did introduce a mechanic where uh, our friends at home can uh, buy buy off essentially like new levels of uh, of wild surge. So I'm gonna. It's remember a surge what, razor. What's, it, what's what's the surge razor price? Sting razor. Uh, five dollars a number, $5. I believe. Five, yeah, five dollars. Yeah. So then you, you you turn it in on a one or a twenty. Uh, goes and then the it ends goes, works its way in. Uh, one two or twenty, and then it goes one two nineteen or twenty. So and then yes. What? Uh, every, then every time I roll, if I hit one of those numbers, I roll on the magical chart of crazy shit that happens. Mm -hmm. and, the, and then what? Crazy, crazy shit, shit happens. happens. Yep. Oh. And, and oh. that's a guarantee. Oh. Oh. And if you're worried, Call are that. you worried that maybe he could run out? Yep. Well, guess what? He doesn't run out of crazy things. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm the best salesman. End of oh. my turn. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Warforge is time. Monster twos. <laughs> Monster twos. Monster time twos to uh, chop you guys to bits. No. Yes. Number two. We're nice guys, though. We're good people. Hey, folks. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Saving Throw Live. <laughs> this is going to be our first episode of an actual campaign. No more one-shots. Thank God.